guys, so today's video is going to be just a slightly more analytical one, here's for you. I'm going to discuss the amount of hours that I've spent playing different games and when I looked at other content creators, their hours were a lot larger and that, I don't know if it made me feel better or worse, I think it just made me feel like, wow, like people are spending a lot of time playing games just like me and it just feels great. This is my Switch, this is the, the OLED, but I just have custom Joy-Cons, which are my pride and joy love them and i've had the original switch before i had the original one and then the oled and i'm waiting for the pro slash 2 whenever that comes out yeah i just wanted to discuss how many hours i've spent playing different games what my top games are i also want to know what your guys' top games are like i want to know how many i want to i want your top three with your hours you can say you really like a game but like it's the hours that really count like that's where you really see you know how you've been feeling about a game. So my play activity. I played Disney Dreamlight Valley for 20 or more hours. Makes sense, I've been playing it a lot. Right now I haven't played Switch in about a week, um, sadly. I just didn't really have time um, for some reason. When I did have time, I would just like read a book or something. I think I go through different phases where like I'm either reading a lot of books or playing a lot on my Switch and it alternates because I just have time to do both at the same time. So um, right now I'm reading a lot of books. So I'm just playing a lot less on my Switch. Um, I think gaming and reading play the same function in my life and they're quite interchangeable for me so usually i'm doing one or the other uh but yeah i've played disney dreamer valley for 20 or more hours but i haven't played it in a week or two so i'm hoping to get back into it um because i love that game it's one of my favorite games right now i've only played the walking dead for an hour or more and i actually want to restart it and maybe do like a let's play because it's such a classic game and i just want to bring it back so let me know what you guys think about that if i did like a let's play the Walking Dead series. I've played Pokemon Violet for 10 or more hours. I'm obsessed with the game, I think it's really good, but I think I <laughs> jumped into it so heavily. I played it for like 10 hours in one day and then basically burnt myself out ever so slightly. So I gave myself a slight break and I'm gonna come back to it and play some more of it. But so far it's my favorite Pokemon game that I've played in a really long time. I just wish it performed a tiny bit better. Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle I've played for three or more hours. It's just a game that I like to jump on for 10 or more minutes, 10 to 30 minutes, kind of like a few matches and that's really it. Kirby and Forgotten Land I've played for a little while. I think I played it for maybe an hour or something. I know the timing on the Nintendo, they don't count it super accurately, so it's kind of difficult to tell sometimes if you haven't played a game for super, super long. I've played Cozy Grove for 15 or more hours. It's so funny that I thought I liked Cozy Grove more than Disney Dreamlight Valley, and I actually ended up liking Disney Dreamlight Valley more now and playing it for more hours. It just goes to show how things change, you know? Dead by Daylight, I haven't played in a few months. I know there are a few issues surrounding Dead by Daylight recently, and like there's just a lot happening, a lot of changes, some good, some bad. People are just complaining a lot about stuff happening. I'm watching a lot of um, commentary videos on Dead by Daylight, but not really much gameplay, and I'm not playing the game myself recently. I think I go through phases with Dead by Daylight as well. Sometimes I'm like really good at it and I play it all the time. Sometimes I feel like I'm just like failing every single match and I just stop playing for a while. Um, that's how I felt last time I played it. I was like, whoa. I've lost my ability, but I've played it for 320 hours on the Switch, which is, yeah, it's a lot. I know I've seen Dead by Daylight players that have like 5,000 hours, but they're definitely kind of the people that play one game mainly, and then they'll play other games kind of a little bit. So like Dead by Daylight is their like main game. Whereas I don't really have a main game. I just get too bored of playing a singular game for that amount of time. So I need to alternate. But um, I also played it for about 50 to 100 hours on the PC when I first got it on the PC before the Switch was out. So altogether with Dead by Daylight, it's probably 400-ish hours that I've played it for. And it's just a really good game, but I hope they don't ruin it any more than they already have a little bit. Coffee Talk I've only played for a little while. That makes sense. It's not like my top, top tier game of all time, but I'm enjoying it and I want to get more into it. Bear and Breakfast I've only played for one or more hours. That makes sense. I think it's a quite clunky game on the Switch. I think it definitely feels like a PC game um, and it's probably more enjoyable on the PC. Animal Crossing New Horizons, I've played for 125 or more hours and most of those hours are during the pandemic when the game first came out because then, you know, I was stuck in the house. That was like the one thing that was bringing me a lot of joy was just playing my Animal Crossing game. And then I think once I got most of the like mainline story out the way, Animal Crossing just became a decorating game. If you really like decorating your island, getting different like tips and tricks for how to create beautiful islands and beautiful houses, etc. that's probably your game, like you're really enjoying it. I'm personally not like a massive decorator, it actually overwhelms me quite a bit. That's why I've never gone into Sims. I liked Minecraft, but I felt like there was more of an aspect of like mining, gaining supplies, yada yada. Whereas with the Animal Crossing game right now, it just feels very much like a decorating game and that's just not where I'm at with gaming. It's just not my favorite game, honestly. Like even with cozy games, I don't even know where I would rank it anymore. Um, I actually did my ranking, I think I put it into B or C, which seems like a very low fan Animal Crossing New Horizons, but it just doesn't feel like a cozy game anymore. It actually brings me a lot of stress. Just thinking about how like abandoned my island is right now, how many weeds are everywhere. I'm just 
I'm not even looking forward to getting back on there. Archive only played for a little while and it was quite disappointing. I might try to get back into it just to see how I feel about it. So far, I wasn't very impressed. It Takes Two, I've played for five or more hours. I think there's about 10 hours of storyline. Um, Minecraft, I've played for a little while. Every time I go on there, there's just something that doesn't feel right about playing Minecraft on a console. I wanna get on my laptop and play it in kind of PC mode because that's how I've learned to play it. I, when I was a kid, I was obsessed with Minecraft. I played it in like the beta version that came out first where like you didn't even have a bed and I played it mouse and keyboard. And that's how I will continue to play Minecraft because clearly the console version just doesn't work for me. For some reason, like the transfer of um, PC Dead by Daylight to console Dead by Daylight was really easy for me. But with Minecraft, there's just something that doesn't click for me. It just doesn't feel the same. Pokemon Sword, I've only played for five or more hours, which makes sense. The game was so empty, like lifeless. There was really not much going on. Jenny LeClude, I've only played for one or more hours and I thought this was going to fill my Professor Layton void and it just doesn't feel the same. I think it's quite empty feeling, like it just doesn't have a soul. It just doesn't feel, like the storyline's fleshed out, I don't know. There's just something about it that just doesn't feel the same. I'll probably finish it though. There's only about 10 hours of content there. I'll probably finish it, but it just doesn't feel the same. Down in Bermuda, I've only played for a little while. It feels quite clunky, but it was a very cheap game, so it's fine. Splatoon 3, I've only played for one or more hours. Um, for some reason, my game keeps on disconnecting. Um, there were some like network errors going on. It kept on pushing me out of matches. Everyone was very try hard when I first got the game. But now that Christmas has come and gone, I'm gonna try to get back into it. But like I said, I'm in my reading phase right now. So I haven't even been playing Switch at all, let alone Splatoon 3. So uh, I'm going to try to delegate some some Splatoon 3 time um, to get back into the game. Uh, Breath of the Wild, I've played for 85 or more hours. I actually thought there'd be a lot more, but I go through phases of Breath of the Wild where I play for a few hours a day for like a week. And then I have to give it a rest because it like consumes my life. I'm almost finished. Well, I left the castle for last, obviously. I still haven't done it because I feel like once I do the Hyrule Castle, I just won't complete anything else because I'm such a like, oh, the game's come to an end. There's no point of going back on it. So I want to finish up a few other things before I do the Hyrule Castle. I just feel like that will be the better order for me to stay productive until Tears of the Kingdom. So I'll probably do Hyrule Castle like a week before Tears of the Kingdom come out so that I keep on completing like shrines and getting Korok seeds and stuff like that. So it's a strategic choice by me to not complete the game right now because I just know myself and I know that I won't do anything else. Firewatch, I've played for two or more hours. The Firewatch is actually a really good game. I don't know why I've only played it for two or more hours. Like I need to get more hours in there because the storyline is so good that like I just want, I just want to play the game. But like I said, I'm just not in my Nintendo era right now. And when I go back to playing the Nintendo, I usually prioritize the games that I've like missed the most. And then some of the games just get pushed to the side further and further. I actually just saw, I've been offline for 12 days. So I haven't played the Switch for 12 days. That's actually a really long amount of time. So I'm just hoping to get back into it at some point. I'm hoping that at some point my brain will understand that like I can read books and play the Switch at the same time. I don't have to like pick and choose uh, my battles. So yeah, let me know what your top three games are, what the hours are, what games you want to play more of um, that you really enjoy and just stuff like that. Um, subscribe to the bell, like, comment for engagement and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.